On this day, I woke up at 7.30 and I started my day with some workout. After that, I took a shower and got ready for my classes. So the current update is that I am getting back to my routine. A productive routine which is helping me so much to be positive throughout the day and I'm really happy for that. So my first class of the day was physics practical. It lasted for like three hours and here we were discussing a particular experiment and parallelly I was solving the experiment in the lab manual. As I said, I am getting back into a routine and by that I mean that I am completing all of the tasks that I assign myself for a day and apart from that uh, I'm being productive and I'm being positive throughout the day and that is what matters at the end. I'm not waking up at 4 or 5 am like I used to do before and it's not needed at this point so I'm not forcing myself to do that and I'm able to complete all of the tasks of a particular day even after waking up at 7 or 8. So here I was completing one essay that we had to submit that week and it uh, we, actually the word limit was of 200 words and I just started counting the words that I have written and they it came out to be 700 words. So yes, I wrote 700 words for nothing. It was like kind of a useless subject, you know, <laughs> but never mind. After this, I had to go to my college for a meeting of the technical club and um, yes, I... I had fun there. This video is sponsored by PDF Element. So Wondershare PDF Element is a software which allows you to edit your PDFs in numerous ways. So here it provides a lot of tools and features which you can use to edit and organize your PDF notes. The first feature is to highlight text. So here you can use different floors and colors to highlight the text of your notes and along with that the other feature is to underline the text. So you get to choose different colors in it and the next feature is to strike off text. So if you want to just cancel out something you can do that too. Well, in my opinion, PDF Element is the most useful software for a student. Also, you can create different shapes like squares and circles on the PDF. So I use this feature to specify important parts of my notes. Usually in digital notes, there is a lot of information given on a single slide. So we can use this feature to specify important paragraphs and important parts of the notes. Next one is the arrow tool in which you can uh, create arrows and label diagrams or even point out specific things. The next tool is one of my favorite because here we can label out things and more than labeling it helps in making flowcharts and mind maps which is one of my favorite studying technique. There are a lot of different ways in which you can edit your PDF as well. There is also this stamping tool available from where you can add stamps to your notes and PDFs. So if I complete a particular chapter, I can put up the stamp of revised date onto it. Or if I complete my assignment, I can put on the completed stamp on it so that I know, yes, I have completed this one. You can even make your signature and add it to different PDF files. Don't forget to give it a try. Link is in the description.
So after I reached home, this was around 5 in the evening and I started completing my engineering graphics notes. Not notes, but, but basically I was just completing those diagrams because I missed this class when I went to the college. So yes, I covered all of it. After that, I took a long break and here I again got back to my table and finally I started with my self-study. So before that, self-study or you can say the extras that I had to do that day because the full day was like filled with all of the college work. So here I just made a list of things that I had to do in the next couple of days and that were due for that week. I covered up some things in the morning session of my day so I just checked all of them off from my list and then here I started with maths. One more thing that I want to share with all of you is that um, some days we are unproductive, we are not able to do certain things, we are not able to wake up on that alarm and just we don't perform up to the mark and that has happened with me previously if you are a regular viewer of my channel you must be knowing that from past few weeks i was so low like i was not really into studying and not at all productive and nothing was going really great but then it just got into place on its own like I, I i used to force myself so much to be more productive but that didn't help it got better on its own and that is the only advice i'll give to you because like that is just give time to it it will get better and you will get back to your productive phase if you are not in one right now So we had a little barbecue for the dinner and after that I took a really long break. I watched some YouTube videos, just relaxed for a few hours and then this was around 10 in the night and I completed most of the things and here is my weekly to-do list. So I just edited it again and organized some of my files on Notion and Identity. Also we are kind of close to 10k subscribers so guys please subscribe if you're watching the video till now i hope you like the video and stay tuned for upcoming vlogs